Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia. In the last episode, we discovered that one of our former teachers, Mr. Kincaid, is actually the leader of Team Dim Sum. After we foiled his plan to basically assassinate us by drowning his own cargo ship, which had several innocent Pokemon and his own crewmates and allies on board. We were able to save everyone, and as a result, we got promoted to Top Ranger. I actually had a bit of a failed start to this recording session. I wanted to go and switch out Krogunk for Turtwig, but when I left, Barlow was saying goodbye to me, and I was like, wait, why are you saying bye to me? Shouldn't I just come back here and talk to you like I always do, and then I'll be able to go to bed and start the next day? But then it occurred to me, we don't live here anymore. We're moving on to New Horizons. Thank you all so much for everything that you've done. I couldn't have done it without all of you. And I hope that our paths cross again someday. But for now, I'll take everything I learned from all of you and implement it into making this world a better place. It's time to head out. Are you about to leave? You remember how to get to the Union, right? Pass along our regards to Professor Hastings and everyone at the Union. Jenny, thanks for everything. I enjoyed every minute of it. So did I. Except for that backtrack I had to do during the Drapion fight. Ugh. Hey there, Top Ranger. Watch your health, dear. Don't go around catching colds. Oh my god, my sister's a styler. She's trying to capture us. My Onichan is a Top Ranger. Jenny, congratulations. It's another departure for you into a new world. By experiencing even more of what the world offers, you'll continue to grow. Oh, I almost forgot. Speaking of departure, it reminded me. The Pokemon from the cargo ship? They were all returned to Boyle Land. All of their students helped in that effort. As for Mr. Kincaid, we all feel terrible about what happened. We all have to accept our responsibility and make sure it never happens again. We all need to keep growing as people just like you. We'll do just that, all of us working together to make the world a better place, one step at a time. It was such a surreal feeling, not seeing that for the first time, because I'm sure Kidme didn't make much of it, but experiencing this now has had like such a profound effect on me, because like the whole graduation elements to it, and then having people from my school days, not uh, the anime, just turn out to be people that I wasn't expecting in both good ways and bad. It's hitting really close to home in ways that I wasn't expecting from a Pokemon game of all things, but oh my god, I guess we'll just see where that takes us as we continue to move forward. Krogunk, you only had one mission with us, but you sure as heck made a lasting impression with that mission, I'll say that much, because you were amazing during that time. So for that reason, I'm going to go switch to Turtwig, and we're going to get some time with this new friend. Okay, we've all done so much together, teaming up and rescuing so many people, accomplishing a bunch of awesome missions. I couldn't have made it this far without all of you, and I'm sure we're just going to make even more friends as time goes on. So then, I'll meet you all at our new home base, the Ranger Union. When I get a good look at you, I can see you have grown up. Speaking of growing, look at that tower. I'd like to see the view from that tower when it's finished. Sure is an impressive view from right here. And I'm sure the view from that tower would be a completely new spectacle. Let's hope that our travels will eventually lead us to that place. Okay, what the fruit? Hey there, lucky gal! Getting interrupted left and right. I found you at last! I'm Wendy, do you remember me? I had some questions for you at the Union. I came to pick up... I came to pick you up with my partner, Staraptor, on Cherma Irma's 
Cherma Irma's orders. Cool. My Star Raptor can whisk us to the Union HQ instantly. It's going to be a wild ride. Don't get shaken off. Oh wow, that's going to be arriving in style. We get to ride on the back of a Star Raptor. It's going to look so cool and amazing. It's going to look so awesome as our introduction to Jabra. Oh jeez! Sorry to drop in on you like this. With style and grace, I have arrived. Oh wow, Jenny! You dropped in on me from the sky. That's a dramatic entry. Woohoo! You're looking good. Yep, I'm looking good too. Okay. <laughs> oh yes, I wish to convey to you how joyous it was for me to learn of your promotion to the highly exclusive domain of the top rangers, where only the creme de la... Oof, I can't do that formal thing. Congratulations! But let's not chat out here. Let's get you inside. Chairperson Irma's waiting for you in the conference room. Guess we're gonna head up there and begin our first day as a top ranger. Effective immediately, the ranger union certifies you to the position of top ranger. You are hereby recognized as the 11th and one of only 12 chosen top rangers around the world. The peace of the Almia region is under growing threat. We must have your help. The Entown's Ranger Base and the Ranger Union share the same goal. It is to maintain peace in the Almia region. I'm so, so sorry. Sorry for being late. Welcome, the 12th Top Ranger. Your arrivals mean that of the 12 Top Rangers, four are based in Almia. Incidentally, haven't you two noticed? I suppose it's understandable from being so nervous, but... You should both be very familiar with each other's dears. Turn your surprised faces from me and look at each other. Hey! If it isn't Jenny, I didn't clue in at all. The other new top ranger is you, Jenny? <laughs> Caught you off guard, did we? To punish the so-called Team Dim Sun, we needed more top rangers. That's why we chose you two youngsters and summoned you. It's a major promotion born from an inspiration shared by Irma and me. If things don't work out, it will be solely our responsibility to bear. You two are free to do so as you wish without restraint. I present you with the symbol of Top Rangers, the Fine Styler. That's a mighty fine styler you're giving us, Professor Hastings. Whoa, a fine styler? Awesome! Power Charge is now usable, whatever that means. Let me describe how the Fine Styler is different. Fine Styler can charge up power for making captures more easily. We've cleverly named the feature Power Charge. It's the biggest change from the stylers you've used up to now. And probably the only change. Rather than attempting to capture right away, use the Power Charge. By charging power, you'll convey more feelings of friendship to your target. It's a feature that will help make your capture attempts even more efficient. Time for a demonstration! Oh my god, it's not just a regular Bidoof, it's a TOP Bidoof! You are bright enough to learn how to do a power charge right away. First, deploy the capture disc like so, then simply wait on the spot. As you can see, the capture disc steadily charges power. When the capture disc is fully charged, encircle your target Pokémon. And we can make them taste the rainbow! Normally, looping a target conveys only a certain amount of the ranger's feelings. However, by charging up power, twice the ranger's feelings are conveyed. If you release the capture disc, or if it collides with anything, it loses its charge. If that happens, you'll have to do a power charge again. Put the power charge to good use. It's a highly effective tool. You'll find it much easier to capture even the trickiest Pokémon. Practice makes perfect! A 
that's enough of that. That will do for your orientation. Keith, I know why you were late getting here. On the way here, you stopped to save Pokemon controlled by Team Dim Sun. Townspeople who saw this were delighted, and they phoned in their thanks. That's what is expected of the Pokemon Rangers. Well, everyone, let's return to our jobs. The two new people should come see me in the operation room later. Hehehe, <laughs> I got commended right off the bat. But boy, oh boy, you bet I'm surprised. I never thought I'd be a top ranger with you, Jenny. This Buizel's my partner. We met in the Fury region. I adore it. That's pretty rare considering that it was a place exclusive to Gens 1 through 3, but maybe things have changed. So if you are going for all S ranks on every single capture, in which case I feel very sorry for you if you messed up during the partner Pokemon captures, uh, you could go ahead and re-battle them, and, or I guess rematch them, and try and get better ranks with them using the Fine Stylet. The operators here can be considered top operators, or as I like to call them, top operators. They do tend to chatter too much, however. Wow, she called me out. Okay, people, let's not be rude. Introduce yourselves to our new faces. Hi, I'm Linda. Nice to meet you. I don't think I'm really chatty, but I'm sure not the silent type. Hi, I'm Marcus. Oh, hi, Marcus. You don't need to learn my name, though. I mean, it's not like you don't have enough to memorize already. Hi, my name is Rhythmy. I haven't been here very long because I graduated not even a year ago and... Wait, you two! You're Jenny and Keith! What are you two doing here? Hee hee! I'm sorry we didn't tell you, but you three are being here is no coincidence. It's part of the plot and saving our resources. I mean, we were informed about you trio from Miss April of the Ranger School. You pledged to make your dreams come true in Ascension Square. The fact that all three of you have held up onto those dreams brought you here. One last thing. Top Rangers have the right to assign missions to themselves. Rely on your experience, believe in your instincts, and know who you are helping. You are responsible for your own actions. Top Rangers do not answer to a leader. Of course, don't hesitate to approach your seniors for advice. That said, the senior Top Rangers are all in the field now. They are investigating far and wide to solve the mystery of the Darkstone. Oh, speaking of senior Top Rangers, we have a transmission from Sven! Sven, you're in this you're in the Chroma Highlands? Please confirm. You got it. Is that Linda I hear? There's something I wanted to pass on to Chairperson Irma. This place is crawling with Team Dim Sun minions. They're slowing me down. I'd like Irma to send a young ranger to you to help clear the vermin. Understood. Chairperson Irma, you overheard the whole exchange. That's what Sven wanted to relate to you. A young ranger or two, did he say? Then two he shall have. Jenny and Keith, this is a good opportunity for you to go meet Sven. The two of you are to join Sven in the field. This is a mission from me. Perhaps you'll find it less than challenging for top rangers to do. Jenny took on a mission, a mission, a mission. Jenny took on a mission as a new top ranger. Sven is in the Chroma Ruins, which are in the Chroma Highlands. You can get there by traveling east from Altru Park. Sven has been chasing leads of the Dark Stones found in Gagirmo Machines. He's a daredevil and a trifle of offbeat, but he's also an excellent ranger. We got our first mission, and we're not going in alone. Feels a lot more comfortable now that I know that you two are here. I'm glad we were able to cross paths once again. Now let's see who exactly we become after all this time has passed. Okay then, starting our new mission, we could head out and make things quick with Doduo, but I think I want to try something a bit more extreme, if you know what I mean. Jenny and Keith! Yes. I forgot to tell you something really important. Top Rangers can fly from place to place on Captured Star Raptor. Just what I was alluding to. You can fly anywhere that you've visited before, even if it was a single time. I feel sort of silly to say it myself, but they call me the Flying Ranger. 
It's because I love flying on my star after that much. Okay, bye. Sure, that's a, 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 an exit. Okay, let's capture the star raptor and show off our new fine styler. Ooh, we got a new little animation as well. Nice little detail. Now the artwork on the top right corner is out of date, so that means Chris has to update it, right? Nah, I caused enough trouble already. Okay, fine styler. Let's see how this goes. Considering a lot of Pokemon tend to do an attack right off the bat when uh, you first start the capture, it is pretty useful to just wait a bit for them to do it and then go ahead and try to capture them. Very, very nice. Couldn't get a perfect capture in my first time using the fine styler, but whatever. We got ourselves an A rank. Okay, now that we got Star Raptor, we can go ahead and just fly to Altry Park. Easy breezy. Uh, which one is it? It's Peel Town Altry Building. I mean, I guess that works. We just head down. Let's go ahead and fly. Hopefully, we can actually ride in style this time now that we're the commander. There we go. That's what I like to see. Of course, Keith doesn't have to ride on the stinking talons of a Star Raptor, but whatever. So we head back into Ultra Park, and then we're just headed to the east side, yo. Which is why I'm all the way on the west side, yo. Uh, I wonder, could we have two Pokemon, two Pokemon, two people? I guess also two Pokemon ride on a dojo. Yes, we can. No problem with that for some reason, but riding a bike indoors? No, it's just too impossible. Hello, I think that's a new Pokemon. Got ourselves a Flaffy. Probably my favorite of the Marie evolutionary line. Speaking of a line, let's draw a bunch of lines around the Flaffy. Oh, jeez. Okay, I guess we should be using the Fine Styler. Just like, I'm impatient. I don't like having to use the Fine Styler because it takes too long to charge up. But it's Rainbow, so we gotta use it. Because we gotta taste the Rainbow. We got a level 2 electricity, which is nice. And 130 experience, which is also very, very nice. Probably gonna be running into a lot of new Pokemon as well. Ponyta! And also another Star Raptor. So, yeah, just like with Doduo, Star Raptor are gonna start appearing in areas that we've already been to, so we could now have an even better fast travel system. Which is very much appreciated, because as much as I love this world, I kind of don't like having to walk everywhere. So we got level 1 Burn from Ponyto. We've not used Burn at, like, for, like, anything. Aside from breaking good Guillermo machines. Uh, we got a tree here, uh, which probably has a new tree Pokemon within it. We don't need Star Raptor right now, I guess, but couldn't hurt to just pick it up, I suppose. Uh, let's go ahead and, of course, it's going right next to me. Okay, thankfully it didn't bump into me, so I can try this. There we go. Perfect capture. Let's see, do we get a glorious S rank? I would hope so. Yes, we did. S for Star Raptor. And we already got to say goodbye to someone. Um, Like I said, we probably don't need Star Raptor right now. Oh, I can't really still do it because I'm riding on it. How funny. Okay. Goodbye, Star Raptor. We'll see you later. Okay, we got more Flaffy. We got more trees. We got... That's Ponyta still, right? Uh, yes, it is. We got a log. A uh, level 3 cut. Chroma Highlands. Walk north. Walk. Keep passing. Walk. North. Walk. Keep walking. Okay, sure. Does it keep passing? I was like, what the fruit? Uh, we got Girafferig, one of my more favorite Pokemon. Love this thing so stinking much. Uh, it's probably going to be a level 1 Tackle, if I had to guess. Maybe it'll be our first side power Pokemon, that'd be pretty cool. Like what it shakes its butt at us angrily, and that's how it attacks. Let's see, can we... Uh, level 2 Tackle, nice. So we can go ahead and see what's in that tree. That means we'd have to get off of Doduo, so we could get our Pokemon back. So we have to get rid of two of these things, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and do that. And then, well, I guess there's another Doe Duo around here, so not too terrible. Let's just get off of it. And let's see if we got some new Pokemans up in this tree. Or just be like a Metapod or something. Shoves its butt into it, and out comes... A Ninjask! Okay. Let's go ahead and capture that. Very interesting Pokemon right there. It's probably going to be really stinking fast. So, oh, jeez! Uh, we need to slow this thing down, because I don't think... Speaking of fast, I don't think we'll be able to capture this thing otherwise. Uh, let's try... None of these are going to be good. Let's try... Flaffy? Poke assist? Drop a Thunderbolt when you... Where you touch, leave the target stopped. Okay, yeah, that would probably be preferred. If I could just get the exact location. There we go. 
Okay, there we go. And we're good. I don't know how we were going to be able to capture that thing otherwise. I'm glad we had it with us. It's a level 2 cut. We still have not found a level 3 cutting Pokemon, which is unfortunate. But in due time, we should be able to find it. Uh, we could recapture some of these Pokemon, but I think we're just going to head forward. And see if there's anything new that we can capture, like a Nuzleaf! Or this other Nuzleaf! Another one of my favorite Pokemon. We're just getting to all these other Pokemon. I'm, maybe we should just do like a ranking of like all my favorite Pokemon, because like... I love watching uh, ProZD's ranking videos for uh, all the different Pokemon. He does ones for like also the One Piece cr uh, crew. I was considering doing one for the Idol Master cast, so I thought that'd be fun to do while waiting for Starlet Season to release. Speaking of which, I'm pretty sure I talked about this, but um, it finally got a release date confirmed. And I'm really excited for it. It's near my birthday, so that's really exciting. Uh, but yeah, I it was actually a show idea for a while where I was going to like rank different types of mac and cheese but i decided just not do that and also oreos i thought that'd be kind of funny but whatever uh he beat me to the punch i guess i know like just because he did doesn't mean someone else can't do it as well but it'll be fun to do it okay pseudo wudo i'm facing you right now but the fourth wall can't tell that you're a pseudo wudo apparently i mean a level two soak to uh reawaken the curious tree how very hilarious I wouldn't think this would have a different Pokemon in it, but we could check just to be sure. I don't know if it's a special tree because it's all secluded back here or something like that. It's, oh, it's a Combi. It's a different Pokemon, but it's one we already have, so not all that special. Guess we'll say goodbye. Uh, we got Flaffy there again, but whatever. But yeah, would you guys like to see like ranking videos where I go over every single Pokemon or something like that? Uh, let me know, because that might be fun to make. Tauros and Miltank! Love me the cow Pokemon. There was a community day the other day, or community hour, which uh, made it so... There was a bunch of Miltank roaming around, and I was trying to get a shiny one, but there was none. How sad, I can't have a blue cow. Then again, I wouldn't want blueberry milk. I want the strawberry milk. Why is it that, like, banana strawberry Nesquik is exclusive to gas stations? Does anyone else know that? Or is that just me? Because I'm obsessed with it and hunting it down. Bruh, banana strawberry nest quick with thin mints, because it's thin mint season. Bruh, love it. Let's go ahead and get that. I still need to hurry up and get thin mints because I do not want to miss out on those. Just that, like, uh, with the events of the world going on right now, first of all, I don't think Girl Scouts are out and about right now, so I'd have to wear online regardless. But I always have to go grocery shopping either really early in the morning or really late at night where there's not as many people. So I think there's just a square on the map to block out the place where the stump is. And hey, buddy! Look at this! It's Dodrio! I assume you're just like Doduo. It'd be kind of weird if we... I guess it'd be kind of weird as well if we only had one riding Pokemon... Uh, two riding Pokemon when they both do the same thing. I don't know, maybe Dodrio is a bit faster? Or maybe it's the level 3 cutting Pokemon we've been looking for. Jeez, okay. I will go ahead and... Uh, use... Uh, Beedrill. This thing's just being a butt. Uh, if I can. There we go. Let's see if we can capture this thing. And we are good. Okay. Is it a riding Pokemon? Let's see. Survey says. No, it is a level 2 tackle. So for some reason, we can't ride a Dodrio. Whatever. It's fine by me, I suppose, but. Uh, we got Tauros here, we got Miltank, we got Pikachu, which I kind of need because it got beat up way too quickly. Let's go ahead and recharge our Styla. Oh jeez, I'm surprised we didn't, get hit, we didn't get hit by that. Okay, we're good. Not sure if it actually does affect our rank or not when using the Fine Styler, because there are times when I do get the perfect rank or whatever, or get the perfect circle, but then I don't get the S-Ranker. Maybe I'm just... Not remembering things correctly. Who knows? Just recharge that. Get all that juice back in there. And we're good. We got a cabin right here. So let's go inside and see who's in there. Since that's what we do as a Pokemon trainer. Rookie guard. I'm on break now. A veteran guard is keeping an eye on the road in the meantime. Like if his name is Rookie guard. And then his friend veteran guard. A very envant guard. I guess that's it for this area. If you want to save, you can. You hear the awesome music. But who needs to save? I never need to save, right? I learned my lesson. Have you uh, seen the dark mist? It is a mist, but it's dark. Instead of being white or even gray, it's pitch black. 
Uh, what kind of natural phenomenon is that? Uh, pollution California. Still, maybe the dark mist can be lifted with the help of Pokemon. Because everything gets solved with Pokemon. Working hard, Ranger? Things are tough all over, it seems. 